support so some of our subscriber has requested us to make the videos on ecu so we have started one series where we will discuss some of the functions of ecu and how it does work so let me start with this series so today we will try to understand the basic function of ecu and then we will go one by one in a deeper with each and every sensor and how it works so here you can see there are few people who has requested nikita then rajendra like who has asked many questions on our videos and he is the regular viewer of our videos so we will create one of uh, you know a special video on oleg queries he has asked many queries and always his comments are insightful for the others as well so thank you for your contribution as well on this channel so sagar also asked the same thing so today we will take this topic and will start to our topic so ecu the engine control unit or electronic control unit so this is the first question which comes in our mind so the use of term ecu may be used to refer an engine control unit right however ecu also refers as a electronic control unit so which is a component of any automotive mechatronic system not just the control of an engine okay so if you take the bcm right that is body control module correct body control module but this is also comes as a part of ecu so mostly most of the time we call it ecu only so in the automotive industry the term ecu often refers to an engine control unit that is ecu or engine control module that is ecm so engine control module also called as ecm if this unit controls both an engine and the transmission so we many times we call it pcm also that is power train control module so for the ecu that is our electronic control body control unit so ecu is a name given to a device that controls one or more electrical system in a vehicle it is like a just a computer or brain of the system so ecu basically provides the instruction to the various uh, you know electrical system and provides the uh, output to operate those actuators or the output uh, to the other end so there are number of different issues as you can see here that airbag control unit anti theft engine control unit which we have seen already body control module then telematics so there are many door control modules so these are the uh, all are the ecu only we call it uh, always that ecu that is electronic control unit so today in this particular uh, video we will discuss about the engine control unit or engine control management that is ecm so we will try to understand what are the part of the engine control system that is uh, our uh, whole if you see the block diagram this is whole system actually where you will have the three main part in engine control system one is the sensors second is the engine control module that is ecm or you can say ecu also that is engine control unit and third is the actuator so these are the three main part of engine control system so basically engine control system controls the air suction amount second thing engine injection amount and the ignition angle when the engine is working so we will try to you know elaborate these all the functions what engine control system does so as of now you just try to understand this thing so suppose this is my engine here and you can see this particular input is given to sensor from the engine then these inputs goes to the ecm in the form of acquisition of the signal then this ecm will process those signals and will make the decision and it gives to the actuator actuator is nothing but which gives the control or output you can say control the commands so suppose if you want to operate one motor throttle motor suppose then it will take the signal from the sensor in the ecm and then it will give to the motor a motor is nothing but the actuator and that, that's how the your fuel injection or your fuel amount of fuel will control by the ecm so this is the basic thing of the ecm that is engine control system so you can see earlier in uh, we used to have carburetor and the magnetos right but now you have the issue fuel injectors then sensors and the, the same work we do in a more controlled way by the issue earlier we were not having that much control when we were using the carburetor and magnetos correct so you can see on the right side also so these are the input sensors 
here the temperature uh, t map sensor coolant temperature sensor exhaust gas or oxygen this call at lambda sensor also cam crank shaft position sensor cam shaft position sensor so all these are the sensor and then ecu will process that particular input which we received from the uh, you know sensors and then it will give to the actuator ignition coil idle air control valve then fuel injectors fuel filter so these are the output this is the input so we will see further so first as i told you there are three parts so first we will discuss about the sensor so actually actually sensor what does it does so sensor take the input and it works as a input part for the ecm and used what does it, is uh, uh, sensors does that it measure the physical signals like temperature pressure and many things right and then it converts to the electrical signal so that ecu can understand that language okay then you have the different sensors like intake sensor temperature sensor crank cam shaft position sensor throttle position sensor coolant temperature sensor no sensors then oxygen sensor that is called lambda sensor as well then accelerator position sensor so these are the few main sensors and we will try to understand in the coming videos that how these functions in the uh, in engine and how they gives the input to the ecm and then moving to the second point that is our ecm that is engine control module so e ecm what it does so it takes ecm receives the input signal from the sensor right then perform the computing according to the set procedure so computer has you know set procedures and based on the rules and the control strategy based on that it will compute and then generate the corresponding control signals and it gives to the power drive circuit or power drive circuit is nothing but one example like motors right actuators you can say so drive the respective actuator to perform the actions and running the engine as per set control strategy so this is the function of the ecm so right now i have told you in a simple language but it has lot of work uh, if you go one by one okay so apart from this the second function of ecm is that it has the diagnosis part also so what it does for the diagnosis it monitors the various part of and control the function in the system and once the fault code will be uh, you know detected then it will stored and it will send to the cluster so you might have seen that mill function or engine control engine check sign uh, you know symbol also comes on the cluster so that is the also purpose of ecm that is the one of the work from the ecm so we will see in this block diagram so this is your engine control unit these are the inputs so first is the first input is comes from the ignition switch right then you have the throttle position sensor vehicle speed sensor map sensors air temperature sensor engine temperature sensor all these sensors right it takes the input from all these sensors the oxygen sensor fuel pressure sensor and battery voltage then what it does ecm will process this data right and this after processing this data it will give to the as a output to the ignition circuit right that is spark plug then when when to spark and when not to spark then idle air control valve throttle control then injectors then o2 sensor heaters and obds so this is the part of input this is the process part and this is the output how it does how the sensors behave that we will discuss first you understand the basic structure of the issue what it does so here also we have shown the same thing what we have discussed already so this is the input part through the various switches and sensors then it is the pro uh, second step is the process then it will give the output in the form of dc motor solenoid relay and display this is the output in display suppose what it does it uh, as i already told you that that mill signal comes in the cluster because of ecu only that ecu will detect the fault and it will send to the display so this is the basic function of the ecu now we will see what are those uh, positions of that particular sensor so as i told you first that intake pressure sensor so this is the one where it will be located then cam shaft position sensor you can see here so all these signals will be you know on the uh, sensors will be on a head ha your your head uh, head assembly is there right of the engine so they will be mounted on there because it has to 
you know cap shaft position sensor as you know by the name of this particular sensor so it will measure the position of the particular cam right cam shaft so this particular sensor would be in the uh, assembly of uh, that engine right that head assembly of the engine then you have the injector third you can see then you have the knock sensors knock sensor basically measures the knock uh, through the sound and vibration so we will see that also in detail then fifth one uh, is our knock sensor then sixth one is our canister uh, control valve then seventh one is our throttle body so this particular uh, you know sensor tells about the uh, how how to open this particular throttle body for the uh, fuel then ocv we have the ocv is nothing but the oil control valve then we have the uh, ninth is our crank shaft position sensor so we will try to understand what is the difference between cam shaft sensor and crank shaft position sensor then we have the coolant temperature sensor then we have ecm this is the main which is the part of process these all other are the input then we have the oxygen sensor and fuel pump sensor so these are the this is the just a overview of the sensors and the ecm where they are if you see here so they all are located in this particular engine room area we will see further so third one so first we have discussed about the sensors then we have discussed about the ecm which process and then third one is the actuators and actuators is nothing but the output right so actuator mainly consists of injectors ignition coils throttle motor then ocv and canister so, uh, solenoid valve so these are the main components so in oem to oem it depends that they might uh, add or delete from the this particular uh, you know list but these are the main so injector no oem can remove the in all the oems there would be Uh, injectors uh, if it is not a electric vehicle right so we are right now talking with the ice vehicle that is our internal combustion engine so if you see the typical issue and control so this is the a that is nothing but the engine temperature sensor this is your b that is oxygen sensor if you can see this is the exhaust area and basically oxygen sensor will measure the oxygen in the exhaust gases then you you have the knock sensor c so you can see this is the piston right and the position of c uh, uh, knock sensor is placed here because it has to measure the sound and vibration of the piston right then we will understand these particular functions in detail in coming slide uh, you know videos then mass air flow sensor vacuum controller egr you can see all these location in this particular slide so let me give you one moment uh, for this particular to read this particular slide then moving to the component and its basic function so today we are just uh, you know giving the basic overview we are not going into the detail first we are just trying to understand what are the components in next video we will go in the deeper way so first is the ecm that is engine control module right so in this quantity one the what is the function of this optimizing the control system to be an appropriate working condition of the engine according to the signals provided by the sensors so this is the first function of this what is the crank shaft position sensor so crank shaft position sensor as i told like position and the speed of the crank shaft in of the engine right then caps cam shaft position sensor so providing the crank and cam shaft position information to the ecm so basically what it does it will distinguish between the top dead center of the compression stroke and top dead sorry center of exhaust stroke of the crank shaft we will see this particular function in detail if you are not able to understand here the intake pre uh, pressure and temperature sensor so basically it uh, measure or inspect the engine intake air temperature and uh, you know determine the compression uh temperatures right then intake throttle body that is inspecting the throttle position and to adjust the throttle opening degree we will understand this also then ignition coil you know that there will be if it is a four cylinder then you will be having the four ignition coil and it will 
what is the function it will ignite the gas mixture can someone tell me what is the voltage generated by this ignition coil to you know ignite this gas mixture can anyone comment on the comment box what is the voltage you will be surprised that how much voltage is required to you know ignite that gas mixture then fuel pump uh, which is you know going to deliver the fuel then injectors uh you have four injectors of course when you have the four ignition coil so injectors uh, will be injecting the fuel according to the ecm signals then coolant temperature sensor you have that is inspecting the uh, engine coolant temperature canister solenoid valve valve so it will you know intake duct it will you know according to the uh, ecm digital pulse square wave it will uh you know measure those things then fuel pump that is delivering the fuel we will understand ocv that is nothing but the engine oil flow into the cam shaft position sensor then oxygen it will basically inspect the oxygen concentration in the exhaust gases and knock sensor as i told you it will if engine is having any knock it will tell to the ecm so these are the basic functions so if you see the requirement and output so there are three types of requirement first is the efficiency requirement right so in efficiency requirement the engine should be start catalyst catalyst heating and ideal control these are the efficiency requirement if i go to the external torque requirement right so in external torque require speed limit complete vehicle dynamic control and driving performance right braking and turning this is the external torque requirement when it goes to internal torque requirement so in in this the starting control should be there idling control should be there and engine speed and engine protection all these are the requirement which need to be fulfilled by the ecm right what is the output that injection and how you can achieve this the, you can achieve by the injection time individual fuel cut off so suppose for the two cylinder you are giving the fuel and two cylinder you are not giving the fuel then ignition timing so all these are achieved these requirement from doing by this output so this is the overall uh, function basic function we will try to understand in coming videos how to uh, do this all these things so main function of the system would be first is starting control idle speed control lambda closed loop knock control heating control of warm up and three way catalyst converter then oil cut off control for accelerator and deacceleration and reverse towing as well then evaporating em emission control over voltage protection ac compressor control and fault diagnosis and limp hop so this is the diagnosis part so you can see how many functions the engine is doing and we will try to understand each and every function in detail in the upcoming video so today we will stop here so in the next video we will try to understand the schematic of this engine control then how the battery power is given to the main fuses what are the fuses we are using like main fuse fan fuse then fuel pump fuses compressor fuses right then we have the different different relays as well you can see high speed fan relay fan control relay then fuel pump relay compressor relay you have the Uh, four injector uh, you know uh, cylinder uh, four uh, number of cylinders you will be having then ignition coil four ignition coil will be there these are the four ignition coil then you have the crank shaft position sensor how it is then knock sensors engine coolant temperature then intake pressure temperature uh, then electronic throttle body then accelerator pedal sorry so all these function we will try to understand through the schematic as well and we will see the technical specification in the next video so suppose you are checking your temperature sensor and you know that our system works on 12 volt but the sensors are working on the 5 volt also or 5.5 5.5 to 5.5 also and you are checking your sensor during the diagnosis and you are thinking that 12 volt is not coming but that is not the right way to check the particular sensor so they can they should have 4.5 to 5.5 so these are the things the technical specification will give you the overview how to diagnose that particular issue and we will discuss in the detail what are the particular technical specification and how we can you know diagnose those particular uh issues and function understanding as well so thank you for your support if i get the at least 50 likes and 50 comment on this video i will go, uh, you know 
create one particular uh, next video on the functioning of each sensor and how they are integrated with the ECU. So thank you for your support. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like the content.